Do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now hosted on the Money Fans Game Channel. In today's video tutorial, this is going to be one type of advanced tutorial for free McBoot or FMCB for the PS2 memory card. And what I'm going to show you today is how you can create a template for your memory card installation. So let's say, for example, you already have one FMCB memory card and you want to install another copy of it onto a second one. Or let's say you're installing FMCB to a memory card for the first time because you have a swap magic or you're doing a 007 agent disk under fire swap uh, magic trick or whatever. So using my method here, uh, I will show you how you can have your favorite applications, part of the installation process, so it's automatically ported over to the memory card. And I'll show you a very simple way of how you can have your programs automatically populate the main menu of FMCB so you don't have to keep on retyping them over and over and over and since I provide you know, some help to other gamers and the YouTube service um, where they send me memory cards to help in, you know um, install FMCB for them it sort of makes my life much easier in following this template so you go to more info section I got a link if you want to download my copy of the newbie package with my uh, FMCB configuration file so if I go to the newbie package here go to install I added myself manually the openps2loader.elf file here and then also the PSX launcher. These are not part of the vanilla, vanilla excuse me, plain Jane uh, free McBoot memory card package. It's not. So I added those by myself in the main root of the install folder. And then what you want to do is also have a copy of the free FMCB configuration file. So I open this up in Notepad. This is what I have added manually myself here. So I added this right here, OPL92 and also PSX Launcher, you'll see that these programs is telling Free McBoot to look at MC0 or MC1 to find these ELF files. I could have added a mass um, path to the, to the USB thumb drive, but uh, I didn't feel like doing it in this case. But if you want to do that, by all means, go ahead. I have a link to where you can download this file too. And put everything here on the root of your thumb drive. So that's how you set that up. So hopefully that makes sense. And uh, originally I thought I was going to do this with two memory cards, but my second memory card apparently is broken. But I'll show you video proof of me formatting my main memory card and then reinstalling all these programs by itself and show you how to load a configuration file so you're good to go. It's badass. Let's do this. All right, so in this portion of the video, I'm going to show you the advanced tips and tricks of the FMCB. Unfortunately, my second memory card, for some reason, got corrupted, but uh, we'll be okay. We're using one memory card. I'll show you how this works, the process is still the same. So let's go to my ULaunch ELF and what I have is a, a Sony memory card and also my USB thumb drive just sh shown in the video like earlier. So I'm going to press circle here and I'm going to mass and let me just go into the newbie package and we're going to go to freemacboot.elf and press circle there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to format the memory card so I'm going to go to format memory card and let's just pretend that uh, if you had a second memory card you can certainly do that too like if you're installing Premic boot onto a second memory card, but I'm going to format this first one. Uh, if you had two memory cards, pretend that you formatted your second one. Okay. So now what we're going to do is do multi version install. And it's going to say, do you want to continue? Say okay. And then it's going to go ahead and install. So what it's doing right now is on my USB thumb drive. Remember how I have those other programs like PSX Launcher and uh, OPL version uh, 0.92, for example. Those are going to be installed as part of this process right here. So with the base configuration, the vanilla version of the newbie package does not have these extra programs, so to speak. So if you put your programs onto your USB thumb drive, like I shown in the video earlier, those will be automatically copied over into your memory card. But the problem is you will have to go ahead and, and create the text file, so to speak, to add those programs to your main menu of free McBoot. And what you want to do to make it easier for you and in the future when you're installing uh, you know, free McBoot onto other memory cards is save that configuration file. And then what happens is you just load the configuration file from the USB thumb drive and save it to your memory card. So like for example, here we go, free McBoot configurator. So let's do that. And you'll see that uh, it might be tough to read on the screen, but what's going to say in the top left hand corner is, uh, let me press X here, it says loaded MC0 and it loads the free McBoot conf file from the sys-config sys folder. So I'm going to go down, press down, see load CNF from mass, so press uh, X there. And now what I'm going to do is go down to save CNF to MC0, since I'm in the MC0 uh, memory card. 
and then PS2 browser FNCB restart. So what I'm gonna do right now, actually guys, is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna disconnect my USB dumb drive. All right. And then, let's go back to the TV. Uh, go back a little bit here. And then let's restart it. So what's gonna happen is Free McBoot is gonna reboot itself and we'll see the programs listed already on the main menu here. So when you install the vanilla version of Free McBoot, you do not get OPL92. You don't get this PSX launcher, for example. And if I want to double check that those programs are installed properly, I can go into U Launch Elf, press X there. And then what I want to do is I want to press um, X again, I think. Let's see. Circle. Okay, circle. MC0. Go down to Boot. And here's my program. See, it copied over PSX Launcher and also copied over this Open PS2 Loader, that ELF file. And we're good to go. So this is really nice. You know, I help, you know, with the FNCB installation service for a lot of different gamers here. So it just cuts down my amount of time I use to create, you know, additional memory cards. So it's basically like a good way to make a, a, a template to copy over ELF files to other memory cards in a nutshell. So hopefully this video makes sense. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.